This is how you can make a CAPTCHA verification system for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that you can get access to the source code of this video and other videos on my channel by joining my YouTube channel memberships or a server subscription over on Discord. If you get the Super God or Custom Bot tier on YouTube, you will get access to that source code. And over on Discord, if you get the God or Custom Bot tier, you will get access to that source code as well. If you get the Custom Bot tier on either platform, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this seems interesting to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go ahead and get started with the video. So we're going to start off by going over to our schemas.js and we're going to go ahead and create cap schema.js. So in your cap schema you need to have a guild, you need to have a role, and you need to have a captcha. All of these have to be equal to the string and it needs to be called cap schema. If you don't have any of this set up or you need to learn how to set all of this stuff up, go ahead and watch the MongoDB guide in the description below. After doing that we can go over to moderation and we can create captcha.js. And here we can do const and we're going to get slash command builder. We we can get embed builder and we can get permissions bit field then we can do equals require and we're going to get discord.js then we can do const cap schema equals require and we can do dot dot slash dot dot slash schema slash cap schema then we can do module dot exports equals we can open this up data we'll do new slash command builder we can go ahead and set a name and this is going to be captcha then we can go ahead and set a description and we can say set up the captcha verification system then we can add a sub command and we can do command arrow function command dot set name and this is going to be set up we can set a description and this is going to be set up the captcha verification system we can do to add role option this will be option arrow function option dot set name and this is going to be rule we can do dot set description and we can get the role you want to be given on verification and then we can do dot set required and we're going to make that true we can add a string option and we're going to do option arrow function option dot set name and this is going to be captcha we can do dot set description and this is going to be the captcha text you want in the image and then we can do dot set required and we're going to make this true then we can actually go ahead and copy all of this and under here we're going to go ahead and paste it we're actually going to go ahead and remove the role and the string option and then we can just go ahead and add a comma and we can do async executes and we'll do interaction and then we can go ahead and open this up and before we move on we're just going to go ahead and change this to disable and we can go ahead and set this to disable the captcha system and here we're going to say if no interaction dot member dot permissions dot has we're going to get permissions bit field dot flags dot administrator we can go ahead and return await interaction or apply and we can say content and we can say you don't have perms to set up and disable this system and we can go ahead and make this informal. Now we can do const data equals await cap schema dot find one. And we're gonna get our guild, which is going to be our interaction dot guild dot ID. And then we can do const and we're gonna get options and that is going to be equal to interaction. And then we can do const sub, which will be options that get sub command. Now we can do switch and we're gonna get sub and then we can go ahead and open this up. And we're gonna get our case, which is going to be set up. And this is going to be if data, we can return await interaction or apply. We can say content and in here we're gonna say the captcha system is already set up here and we can go to make this informal then we can do else and we can open this up we're going to do const rule equals options dot get rule and that is going to be rule and then we can do const captcha equals options dot get string and that is going to be captcha now we can do await cap schema dot create and we can open this up we're going to do guild and that is going to be interaction dot guild dot id we can do comma and role which will be role dot id and then we can do captcha and that is going to be our captcha variable so now we can actually go in and create an embed so we can do const embed equals new embed builder and that is going to be set color and we'll make that blue and we can set a description and in here we're going to get white check mark and we can say the captcha system has been set up now we can actually go ahead and send this so we can do wait interaction or apply and we can get embeds and we can pass in our embed just like that so now we're going to move on to our disable command so right under this if statement we can come down here and we're going to do break and then we can do case and this is going to be disable and we can go ahead and come down here and we can say if and we'll do no data we can return await interaction or apply we can say content and we can say there is no captcha verification system set up here and we can go to make this informal and then we can say else and open this up we're going to do await cap schema dot delete many and that is going to be guild which is going to be interaction dot guild dot id and then we can do const embed equals new embed builder we can go ahead and set a color and that is going to be blue and we can go ahead and say a description and that is going to be white check mark and we can say the captcha system has been disabled and then we can just go ahead and send this so wait interaction or apply and we can get embeds and we can just get our embed 
All right, so now that we're done with the setup process, we can move over into our index.js. Here we're gonna start by doing const and get our captcha generator, and that is going to be equals require. And in here we're gonna get our captcha canvas, just like that. You are gonna have to do npmi captcha canvas, this exact same thing here, in your terminal for this to work. Now we can do const cap schema equals require, and we're gonna do dot slash schemas slash cap schema. Then we can do let guild, and we'll leave that blank. Now we can do our first client dot on event, so that will be client dot on. And we can do events dot guild member add. We can do comma async member. And then we can go ahead and open this up. And here we're going to do const data equals await cap schema dot find one. And that is going to be guild, which is going to be member dot guild dot id. And we can say if no data, we're just going to go into return. And then we can say else and we can open this up. We're going to do const cap equals data dot captcha. And then we can do const captcha equals new captcha generator. Down here we can do set dimension and that is going to be 150 comma 450 and then we can go ahead and set captcha and this is going to be our text which is going to be our cap variable. We can do comma size and that is going to be 60 and comma color and that is going to be green or whatever color you would like it to be. We can do dot set decoy and this is going to be opacity and that is going to be 0 0.5 and then we can go ahead and set a trace and for me I'm going to do color and I'm just going to go ahead and make this green. Now we can do const buffer equals captcha dot generate sync. Now we can do const attachment equals new attachment builder. And in here we can pass in our buffer variable. And then we can go ahead and get a name, which is going to be captcha dot png. And we can do const embed equals new embed builder. We can go ahead and set a color. And this is going to be blue. And we can go ahead and set an image. And for our image, we're just going to go ahead and get attachment. And then we can get forward slash forward slash. And we're going to get captcha dot png. And then we can go ahead and set a title. And this is going to be solve dot captcha to verify in. We can get member dot guild dot name. Then we can set a footer. And this is going to be text. And we can say use the button below to submit your captcha answer. Now we can do const cap button equals new action row builder. We can go ahead and add components. And then we can do new button builder. We can go ahead and set a custom ID. And this is going to be cap button. And we can go ahead and set a label. And this is going to be submit. Now one other thing, I'm going to go ahead and paste a caution emoji in here as well. You can do this if you'd like, but you don't have to. Now we can do dot set style. And this is going to be button style. And we can do danger. So after making this, we can actually go ahead and create a model so we can do const cap model equals new model builder and we can go ahead and set a title and this is going to be submit captcha answer and we can go ahead and set a custom id and this is going to be cap model now we can do const answer equals new text input builder and we can go ahead and set a custom id and that is going to be answer and then we can go ahead and set required to true we can go ahead and set a label which is going to be your captcha answer and then we can set a placeholder which is going to be it submit what you think the captcha is if you get it wrong you can try again now we can go ahead and do const first action row equals new action row builder and we can do dot add components and we are just going to go ahead and pass in our answer and now we can do cap model dot add components and that is going to be first action row we're going to go ahead and send this message so we can do const msg equals await member dot send we can get our embeds and we can get our embed we can do files and that is going to be attachment and then we can do comma components and that is going to be our cap button now we are going to go ahead and catch an error here so we can open this up and we're just going to return so if they have their dms off then we're just going to return and do nothing now that is going to be a slight problem because if they have their dms off they can't verify within the server so they will have to contact server staff to get into the server but that's not really the developer's problem so we can do const collector equals msg dot creates message component collector and we can do collector dot on we're going to get collect and we can do comma async i arrow function and open this up we're going to do if i dot custom id equals 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 and we're going to get cap button we can go ahead and open this up we're going to do i dot show model and we can get our cap model and lastly for this client dot on event we're just going to set our guild to our member dot guild we're going to go ahead and create a new client dot on event to handle this model and give them the role so we can do client dot on and that is going to be events dot interaction create. We can do comma async interaction and we can go ahead and open this up. In here, we're gonna go ahead and start off by doing if no interaction dot is model submit. We can just go ahead and return. And then we're gonna say else and we can open this up. We're gonna do if no interaction dot custom ID equals 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 and we're gonna get cap model. We're just gonna go ahead and return as well. And then we're gonna do const data equals await cap schema dot find one. And this is going to be guild, which is going to be our guild.id. And this is the same guild variable that we defined up here. We're basically just transferring it down here so that we can get our data. Now we can do const answer 
equals and we're going to get interaction dot fields that get text input value and that is going to be answer and then we can do const cap equals data dot captcha now we're going to do if answer is not equal to and we're going to get our cap we can return await interaction dot apply we can say content and in here we can say that was wrong try again and we can go to make this informal then we can say else and we can open this up we're going to do const role id equals data dot role and we can do const cap guild equals await client dot guilds dot fetch and we're going to get our guild id then we can do const role equals await cap guild dot roles dot cache dot git and that is going to be our role id variable then we can do const member equals await cap guild dot members dot fetch and that's going to be interaction dot user dot id then we can just do await member dot roles dot add and that's going to be role and we can catch an error and open this up and then we can go ahead and do interaction dot apply we're going to say content and we can say there was an error verifying contact server staff to proceed and we can go ahead and make this informal just like that lastly we can come down here and do a wait interaction or apply we can do content and in here we can say you have been verified within and we can do cap guild name all right so that's pretty much all we have to do for this system but before we restart the bot i did make a slight error so right here i did cap schema this actually has to be our captcha variable just like that and one other thing before we restart the bot is right here for our text input value all you have to do is do set style and we can do text input style and we're just going to go ahead and get short so with that we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out so over in the discord server we can test this out by doing slash captcha and we can go ahead and choose setup we're going to get verified and we can go ahead and just input whatever captcha you want so for me i'm going to do like captcha because it doesn't really matter and we can go ahead and send it and it's going to go ahead and set it up if i go ahead and join the server on the test account as you can see here i do not have access to any of the channels except for a couple i am going to get a dm from tutorial bot as you can see here it's going to go ahead and say solve the captcha and this was from before so don't worry about that um, but I'm going to go ahead and look at this image and as you can see, it's going to say CAPTCHA with a few decoys in there. So if I go ahead and click submit, I can go ahead and input what I need it to be. So for me, it's going to be CAPTCHA, but let's just say I mess it up for the first time and I go ahead and click submit. It's going to go ahead and say that was wrong, try again, and I'm not going to get access. If I go back over here and submit again, I can do CAPTCHA. And this time if I submit, it's going to go ahead and say that I've been verified. And over here, it's going to go ahead and verify me within the server. Now, so you can code a CAPTCHA verification system for your Discord.js version 14 bot. If this worked for you, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. If you need any help, go ahead and join the server in the description below. And we'll be happy to help you out. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.